What's up guys, it's Shuichi here. Let's take a step back from raiding perk locations and let's explore a topic that is very seldom talked about in the Call of Duty Zombies community. Let's discuss the topic of Forbidden Doors. If you are a newer player that started with Black Ops 3 or onwards, you're not going to have much experience in this category. By all means, I do not mean that as an insult. I just mean it in the sense that the doors don't really happen as often anymore in the newer Call of Duties. Now, let's dive into the subject. Forbidden doors are doors around the map that are not meant to be open for a specified reason. One of the most common maps for this example would be Kino. You would never open the door next to the stage because it gets in the way of running a proper train. With World at War and Black Ops, every map has a forbidden door. Some have two. The only map that doesn't have a forbidden door would be Shangri-La. It's, it's known as an unspoken rule because almost every player would know it when loading into a map. Of course, you could be that one guy that opens up the door, but you're probably going to lose players as soon as you do that. I know it sounds silly, but it really ruins the floor of a map depending on how you're playing it. With an explanation of what forbidden doors are, why don't we discuss why they're forbidden and what doors are forbidden on each map. Why a door is forbidden can be easily grouped into one of two categories, and it sometimes branches out but mainly just those two. The first of the two reasons is going to be map flow. When playing a map, you really don't want to worry about any obstructions that may hinder your path. This is why these doors are set in place. They're meant to limit the amount of areas that a zombie could spawn or that a zombie can come and get you. By blocking these doors off, you are limiting the paths that you can take to get out of the area, but at the same time, you are limiting the amount of options that zombies have to choose to spawn from. I know it sounds silly saying they can choose, but it's just the wording I chose. Secondly, a door may not be open because it creates a good camping spot for you and your teammates, so that way you guys don't have to worry about running separate trains all across the map and you can just sit there, relax, and talk while killing some zombies. Since we discussed the main two reasons, why don't we point out every single forbidden door across all the Call of Duties from World at War to Black Ops 2. Starting off with Noct, you're not supposed to open the staircase in the spawn room because it creates a good camping spot right next to the grenades. If you're like me, you may have not known this when you first started playing World at War, and I used to just train in the bottom room where drops. the mystery box is, so yeah, I ended up opening video. the forbidden doors okay. countless times until my friends told me about this, and it really does help on this map. Next in line we have Zombies Barat. This one isn't a set in stone forbidden door, this one is more so just if you like camping again. You're not supposed to open the door between power and either the left or the right side depending on which way you go. This cuts off the flow from going all the way and you do have a camping spot because Verruckt is one of those maps that you really need a camping spot instead of running trains in. Third up we have Shino Numa. This one is actually a flow of the map. This is actually going to be a wall door in spawn that you don't open up. If for some reason you need to go back to spawn, it helps because zombies are going to come from that section of the room. And if you're trying to hit the box from the other side, it helps because you don't have to worry about zombies flanking you from the rear. And for the last World of War map, we have Duris, which actually has two, two forbidden doors. The first one is going to be the A passageway connecting the spawn to the outer area of A. This one is going to be a flow of the map door because if you have that door open, it's going to create an influx of zombies that are going to block your path in the higher rounds. It's really not something you want to deal with, so it's best to keep that door closed even though it limits one of the paths you can take to escape if you need to get back to spawn. This second one is only going to be in regards to World at War and Black Ops 1 because of Jug. Now that we're getting a little deeper in the list, I'd say this one is actually its own category in a sense that you're going to realize later on it's going to be a trend that there's a good bit of doors that don't get open because it helps block off Jug. So that being said, the second forbidden door is actually going to be the staircase at A leading up to Juggernaut. This helps you get Juggernaut easier and to get out of the spot without having much trouble. Moving on to Black Ops 1, the first forbidden door is going to belong to Hino and it's going to be the most widely known in the series. This is a floor of the map one that cuts off zombie spawns whenever you're trying to run trains on the stage. It's one of those areas that you can rely on being safe, except for a zombie barrier, but that's beside the point. When you're running a train, if you ever have to get back into a corner, it's one of those corners where you can swoop around and not have to worry about the zombies cutting you off. Moving on, 5 actually doesn't have a forbidden door. I forgot about that. My bad. That brings us to Dead Ops Arcade. There are no doors. Moving on. Ascension has one forbidden door and it depends on how you play it that chooses the forbidden door. 
If you play it the right way like most people, the Forbidden Door is going to be the power door that leads down to Jug. This is to help you defend both Quick Revive and Jug at the same time and it is less a flow of the map and more so just a defending Jug type of door. If you play it the wrong way, you're going to open up the door from power and you're going to not open up the door next to Quick Revive. This prevents you from defending both Jug and Quick Revive. And if you choose the route of Chaotic Evil, something tells me you're going to open up both doors that leaves Jugs exposed from both sides and you're going to fuck your whole team over from getting a free perk, so don't do that, okay? Moving on, Call of the Dead has at least two forbidden doors. The first one is going to be located next to Jug at the end of the hallway. This one helps you defend yourself while trying to get Jug. It stops zombies from spawning on both sides. It makes it a good camping spot. The other one is going to be the door that leads into the bottom of the lighthouse. It's a forbidden door because it's a flow of the map door that helps you run trains in the area. That way you don't get stuck cornered while trying to get the AK-74U ammo on the wall. These last two maps tactically don't have forbidden doors depending on how you want to play the map. Shangri-La has absolutely no forbidden doors, so you don't have to worry about that one. Moon on the other hand is kind of weird because depending on who you're playing with, they may not want you to open the door that connects the biodome to the outside of teleporter. I know it sounds kind of weird, but that's just how some people play. Some people may think I'm crazy for that one, but I have played with a lot of people in public lobbies that don't like that door opened. Moving on to Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 only has one map with a forbidden door and that's going to be Mob of the Dead. This forbidden door is going to be the greats next to Jug and it's to help you get Jug without getting cornered and it makes a good camping spot. Honestly, I may have missed a few forbidden doors but those are all I can think of at the time of this video. If there are any on Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4, I do not know a single thing about those forbidden doors. I am sorry. Not saying I don't play the games, I just don't know of any forbidden doors on those maps. So, with all that said and done, why don't you send this video to somebody that's new to zombies? Maybe explain to them why you shouldn't open this door. But this is a good list for anybody that's new to zombies that doesn't know about a door that shouldn't be opened. There are reasons and you should probably not do it. That's going to end it for this video. I'm going to try to get my next video out sometime in the next week. Thank you for watching and don't die. Who the fuck do you think you are?